Hello everyone and welcome to a new video in the Quarter Multi Platform series. In this video, we will be migrating our room database from the native side to a common shared code. If you haven't watched the previous video, I would suggest you to go ahead and watch that first since in that video we migrated our retrofit client to Ktor and we also did all the necessary setup for the shared Quarter Multi Platform module to work. So uh, before starting the video, I will just let you know that there are other alternatives available to Roam such as RoamDB or SQL Delight that have been battle tested in the past. Uh, I have also used SQL Delight for the past 2.5 years in production as well so it works very fine. So just in case you want to try out those yourself you can just go ahead and try those as well and they are, they also work fine. The reason for just migrating Roam to shared module instead of using another database is that most of the Android developers are already familiar with Room, how Room works, how migrations in Room work, or how you can create relational kind of uh, tables such as one to one relation between different tables or one to many relation between uh, different tables. So it's pretty easy for an Android developer to understand. So the process is very simple to migrate Room. Uh, but the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and update the dependencies to uh, 2.7.0 alpha 07 which is the latest alpha version of Roam. The reason for doing this is that prior to 2.7.0 uh, Roam had no compatibility with uh, uh, Kotlin Multi Platform. It was only added after 2.7.0 so we need to add this update dependency. Okay, so let's move ahead. Uh, I did give you an overview in the previous video, but just uh, go ahead and let's take an overview of how database is working in our app. So the whole database logic is inside core, uh, the converters, uh, DAO entities and the database resides inside core and then inside data. So we need to first go ahead and add uh, a few things inside the build out grid of share. We will go to core and copy a few things from here. First thing is the KSV plugin, and the second one is the room plugin. I'll just copy these and paste these inside the shared module. Once again, I'm not cutting anything, just copy and pasting because if I cut something and then I, I'm not able to fix some issues inside the shared main my app will stop working so i'll only copy and paste things from the core module inside the uh, shared module now we have the plugin we have the schema directory the only thing that we need here is the room library room dot runtime and now we can sync the project and we can start using room inside our shared module so uh, now the project has synced. I'll go ahead and open shared and sign data. We only have the remote part. I'll open core and inside data, I'll just copy the local directory from here and paste it inside the shared data directory. Once again, copy and pasting no cut and paste. I'll just update these uh, package names. So uh, as you can see, I had to do nothing here. I'll just I just copied and pasted everything and it's working fine. Same for DAO as well. Let's go to entity. Okay, there is one issue that we need to take care of. Like in the previous video, we'll just remove the suspend map and move it to a simple map and let's go to certified database so everything is working fine here as well okay uh, let's so everything now here is working fine let's check if we need anything more from here so no nothing we don't need anything from here now let's get rid of this local go to domain and local data module Okay, so it has already migrated all the uh, classes required to 
the shared part so let's run our app and check if everything is working fine okay we did miss one thing uh, for which i will have to go to shared part close this so in order to work with ksp there is one thing that we need to add let me just cut and paste that from one of my other okay so we need to add the ksp configurations here let's sync the project again run the app and let's see if the app is still working fine so yeah everything is working fine no issues whatsoever so although we have migrated the whole uh, room part to the shared module but there's still one thing that we need to take care of and that thing is that our room database is being created inside this held local data module but ideally the responsibility should be delegated to shared as, as well since the whole uh, what uh, so the whole uh, data thing is being handled by shared so this should be there as well one other thing that we need to take care is that currently we are only creating the uh, room database for android we also need to create the room database for the iOS side as well so let's leave it here and go to certified database let's close this and, and add an expect function provide expect one provide database and add its actual function so there is one thing that we need to take care of if i go back and go to android main in order to create the uh, room database if i go to lo local data module you can see that we need an application context but the application context does not exist in the android uh, in the sorry in the course in shared part so what we need to do here is that i'll just pass some context here and that will be any sense we don't have access to actual android context in the shared part this is actually not the right approach to do this but since we haven't migrated the di part as of yet so we will just do this once that's done i will uh, refactor this to a better approach okay so go to the main and add a parameter here as well and that parameter will be of type any and we can go to uh, local data module copy this and paste this here return and context as we need to do some uh, type casting and our movie db name was i think certify uh, movie db yeah so the android side is now ready but we still need to implement the ios side so we need to pass context here as well so the context doesn't actually exist in ios so this uh, this parameter won't be used but we need to copy paste of some things from the documentation so i'll just copy and paste that these and then i'll just go ahead and explain what's happening here okay so and this file manager is similar to the file manager that we have inside android and what it is doing is that it's currently getting the default file manager and then it's creating a new directory inside uh, sorry it is getting the document directory and and then it is returning the document directory path so we need the document directory there are different types of directory in the um, where you call the ios side so if i go to ns photos directory i think what it was sorry not the nd the ns photos directory or something okay i think i've 
for for what mm, photos directory okay i'm not good with remembering the uh, name so let's scroll back to document directory and then the domain mask it so what it is the, it does is that we need to open as well we get the ns file manager then we get the default manager format then we want to access the document directory and the domain is kind of what context is inside uh, android and it returns the document directory and then we get the path of that document directory and then we can import room here and we don't need we have an app database but we have a movie tv here and need to update the path as well okay i'll just get rid of this and the path should be such by movie tv so what is happening here we are getting the path for document directory appending a new path to it for our database and then uh, what we are doing is creating a room database at that uh, particular directory so that part is also done and now we can update our hilt implementation to provide room database and we can pass the context here let's run our app and check if it's working fine Okay, there are issues. Let's check what's happening. Hmm. Let's look at the room database. Okay, we actually don't need this one. We actually uh, need the one that we created. Provide database, yeah. So we were just creating a recursion here. Okay, now it should be working. Yeah, so everything is working fine. Our migration is now completed. Thus, we have also implemented the higher site, but we cannot test it. We will be testing this once we move our Jetpack Compose to Compose Multi-Platform Code, or maybe we can also try some Swift UI functionality as well. So that will be all for this video. We can we will be meeting in the next video where we'll be migrating Hilt to Coin as well. So if if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and also click on the bell button to get the notification for the new videos as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, I am happy to listen to those and I will try to make my videos better for you. Thank you.